You are now watching the Queen Chama. All rise. Judge Queen Chama presiding. Thank you, Darius. Hello, everyone. We are back with another video. As you already know by this intro, we are about to do a very serious, devious, hideous, dragging to the situation at hand. Before we get started, I would like to introduce you guys to my boy Darius. Darius also has a channel. Darius, go ahead and shut yourself up and let them know where they can find you. Um, my channel is Uncle Darius Entertainment. I do dragons, reactions, and uh, talk about social issues. Yes. So definitely enjoy the dragon fam. We try to hit 3K by the first week of August. So yeah, definitely subscribe to my shit. So yeah, it's U-N-C-L-E. D-E-R-R-E-N-T, period. period. So the case that we have on the table today is a very serious case. Not only because of how bad it is just in the grand scheme of things and the level of morality, but just off the strength that this person is a repeated offender. Now in the regular court system, repeated offenders, when they don't learn their lesson, they get extreme sentences and get put back to jail. Now Darius, go ahead and let them know the person, the perpetrator, the situation, and why are we bringing this to my courtroom today? So in this courtroom, we have, of course, mentioned a repeat offender. Her name is Just Hideous. So Just Hideous decided to obviously she didn't pay attention of us dragging Drea for poking fun at her. So now we gotta drag this hoe since she wants to make a skit reenacting Meg the Stallion getting shot. Literally had a whole production reenacting of Megan the Stallion getting shot. I am Detective Moore and this is Mystery Media Crimes. Today we're going to look at a particular crime where the shooter is to be determined. On last week, Meg the Stallion was shot in the toe. Leading suspect is Tory Lanes. Other suspect, Tariq St. Patrick. To further our investigation, we're going to do a reenactment of the incident. Given all the details that we were given for this investigation, our social media sources put Tori about here. And that puts the gun here. So that's gonna put Megan about here and her foot about there. Now, even if there were some type of argument or quarrel between the two, given Tori's past with AIM, we know he doesn't have any. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand if you are an angered man and a woman that you want is getting out of the car, you're not gonna shoot the bitch in the toe. That's what I want you to know if you're trying to stop a bitch from leaving. You actually would shoot a bitch in the toe if. Okay, we're gonna edit this. Never mind, never mind. Now, when the bullet first struck Megan, I can only imagine how she felt. Now, if you've never been shot before, you don't know her pain, okay? And I imagined that the sound that was produced when she felt the hot metal was of this. Ah, hey, ah, ooh. Tori, if he did this on purpose, which we are justifying that he did not, it would have looked like this. Bitch, what you mean? Let me, let me get that motherfucking foot. Let me get that toe. It doesn't happen like that. That's not the way it would go. Who does that? Hmm. So it wouldn't have mattered. Wherever Tori was aiming, he wouldn't have hit the target because that's how poorly he is with aim. So at this point, our investigation is still open. Until then, keep scrolling. Sickening to me that not only just anybody would make this into a joke, but another woman, let alone another black woman, because she had prior knowledge that this was not going to go over well. But because she decided to do what she did, she is a grown person and we're grown as well. And this is the courtroom of Queen Chama with Darius. So we're going to be dragging her. We've broken this video into five main talking points, so let's get right into this video. So point number one, this is just distasteful. I mean, just sick. I'm very disgusted that she would take this far to make these actions because the amount of effort that goes 
goes into creating the skits, writing the script, getting the production there, the acting, even hair and makeup. Like this is an actual production. This was not just a little rant on your own personal social media. Yeah. You really did it for real. And this is literally poor taste. Yeah, this is like probably the most ignorant shit I've seen ever. Probably one of the most ignorant shit I've Definitely. seen. Definitely. Like I don't think you could stoop this low. This is means for cancellation. And I feel like this was not a time for her to be a comedian because there was nothing funny about the situation. Exactly. There's other situations such as like, okay, when Bow Wow went viral and there was like the whole Bow Wow challenge or just other things that made people laugh as a community of black people. But this was not one of them. Right. Nobody should have thought this was funny. And it goes to show how unprotected or even if it's not unprotection, how disrespected black women are, even when you have money, fame, fortunes, and status. Like this is crazy. Like a uh, Bow Wow got beat up by his girl whatever she was and people people did make fun of him but not as bad as more people came to um, his defense Megan yeah. yes and Megan actually got shot like people are acting like guns cannot cause somebody to be killed right. or severely injured it is by the grace of God that she can walk mm -hmm. she can have both feet mm -hmm. and that let's be real, that she is alive. Because that gun could have ricocheted, hit her somewhere else, could have hit Tory Lanez, could have hit anybody. And Jess, you made this to be a funny thing. There was nothing funny about nothing. it. And then she has no remorse for what she's doing. She's no. in the comment section going back and forth with people. She tried to put a little disclaimer under the description part of the video, which is still on her Instagram page. Yep. And be going back and forth talking about some I don't condone violence. Well, clearly, you, you did. do. And you wouldn't have to put the damn disclaimer shit on the damn video because you knew you would get dragged Period. For it. Period. Not to mention, Meg Thee Stallion herself was crying when she got on live. And the timing to me is what kills me is because, okay, it happened, stories went crazy, no one knew what was going on, Megan wasn't speaking, obviously Tori hasn't spoken out, nobody spoke out but Megan's best friend, which is kind of irrelevant. People made their comments, 50 Cent made a comment that he even apologized for, it was another rapper that made a comment that was very distasteful. We all knew that it wasn't something to be funny. But when Meg actually came out the other day, got on Instagram Live, explained her side a little bit, confirmed some things, and broke down into tears, you still took it upon yourself to get on your Instagram and click upload. Distasteful, just yeah. distasteful. The fact that she think this is a joke, like, first of all, just hideous. <laughs> You're not funny. Not funny. Not, not at all. Like, hilarious should not be next to your name. You are far from it. Far from it. Because that wasn't funny. Like, you need to figure out how to get your little mediocre, and mediocre is a stretch, <laughs> <laughs> career together. Like, outside of Instagram, where the hell have you been? She's only been on Instagram a while now, I believe. And exactly. to me, to be a comedian of this sort, it's one thing to be on the internet, but if this is your career, I feel like she should be evolving a little bit more. I'm mm -hmm. not going to talk badly about her in that regard. I'm going to keep it specifically to this, but I feel like this could have been something that would have shown your solidarity, which brings me to point number two. It be your own people. Mm -hmm. This is a black woman making fun and mocking a situation that another black woman went through that was traumatic and could have ended up in a such more deadly way than it did and in such more crazy way than it did and she still had the nerve to get on there it'd be your own people like would it been funny if she was dead because like nobody was laughing when nipsey got shot nobody was making memes when pop smoke um got killed or know, right. um x um died or juice world died i'ma just be frank with y'all people are making brianna taylor a freaking me i think it's to the point where black women usually show solidarity with one another because we've realized as a collective we don't have each other's backs nobody else would and i would have thought that for all of us that say stay on code the stay on code don't cannot just be to be against black men it needs to be stay on code for all of us this is a time that i'm gonna really say stay on code because we are not protected we are not supported we are not respected and just hilarious knows this but she feels that she's so above and beyond because i guess she's made it to a certain pinnacle in her career that is so stagnant that she felt that it was still worth it to make this video versus just showing her solidarity with Meg Thee Stallion. How much more props she would have gotten just for saying, I stand with Meg Thee Stallion. How much more praise, accolades, probably even more followers, people more more traffic to her page, has she done the right thing? But she decided to do the evil route. And for that, I cannot respect her. It be your own people, man. It really do. Like I said, people make Breonna Taylor a meme. And like when somebody posts, like when the Shade Room posts some bullshit, people say, and Breonna Taylor's killers haven't been um, arrested. I hate shit like that. Like, let Breonna Taylor lay the rest in peace. 
Like, let her, um, she already been through enough. I mean, I feel like, like the movement is just to bring the conversation back to what really matters. Yeah. But I see what you're saying. It's a time and place for it. Yeah. The shade room comments is not a time and place for that. If you want to use your own personal platform yeah. to speak and, okay, anyways, Breonna Taylor, let's get back to the point, which her killers do need to be arrested, mm -hmm. a.k.a. the police mm -hmm. need to be arrested. But it is a time and place for everything, which is the main point. And Jess Hilarious, you knew that. Which brings me to point number three. You were well aware of the people who got drag before you yep. for having a poor judgment in their reaction to the situation and you still went ahead and did it. Drea was dragged like you said. Yep. Drea tried to romanticize being shot in the foot saying oh I wish a guy could do that for me. If I was 24 years old I want a guy to say get in the car don't go anywhere and shoot me in the foot. That stuff is fun. Girl that's not fun. Being shot is not fun. Domestic violence of any sort whether it's physical with our hands or a weapon is not fun. For those of us who have been in that situation, there's nothing funny about it. It's not a laughing matter. And to be honest, there's so many girls who end up dead and there's so many stories that get unheard for you to be making a joke out of it. So just where's the common sense? Where's the logic? Where is the respect for another person that could have been you? Right. Like, if this happens to you, we gonna keep that same energy since you wanna poke fun at Meg. And like, Meg, she is probably the most innocent, nicest, down-to-earth, humbling person you will ever meet. At this point, like, yeah. She hasn't had much discrepancy in her career. Granted, she's only been out for a few years at this yeah. point, but overall, her reputation is not bad. She doesn't have a reputation like some of the other people who are female rappers. Most people like Meg, they wanna get along with her. And I'm glad that Meg Thee Stallion said in her live that she thought she could be cool with everybody, be friends with everybody, and she's realized she needs to withdraw her support, still maintain herself, but withdraw herself from being in the mix with everybody because those people could really take your energy. I feel like this is a learning lesson for so many girls, especially myself as an up-and-coming influencer, to know that you can't mix your circles all the time and you can't be so friendly with everyone because you don't know their intentions, but to then know that, okay, that's her message and Jess sees that and she has the pre-warnings from all the other people that got dragged, especially the women who got dragged, and the people that tried to make this funny, even though Meg kept tweeting, hey, this is not funny, this is serious. You had the forewarning and you still did that. You had a big fat red light, a stop sign, and you still said, well, I'm going to just be a dumb bitch and do it. Yeah. I have no respect for her at None. this point. Never did, None. never will. None. And like, she just need to get the fuck and take her little mediocre ass on. Mediocre ass Take it on. back to Baltimore, baby. I'm, I'm right, because... <laughs> Um, that's go what, ahead, dummy. Go ahead, dummy. Go ahead, dummy. <laughs> You're coming to make this down defense because everybody knows this is wrong. Everybody knows what she's going through is not an easy situation. She's not just going to get over this in one day, one week, one month, maybe not even one year. Both her parents are dead. Her grandmother is, has passed as well. She's in this world as a young 25-year-old woman by herself. And Jess Hilarious is older than Meg Thee Stallion. Yep. So to poke fun at her in this way and then be mad when people give you the reaction that you knew you were going to get is crazy. Now, point number four. Let's talk about Jess Hilarious prior, since she is a repeat offender. Mm -hmm. Back a couple years ago, Jess Hilarious decided to poke fun or make a very disgusting statement about some of the people who were on the same flight as her. She got on a plane, she saw someone wearing, I believe it was a turban mm -hmm. or a hijab or something like that on their head, and it was the people who are of the Sikh religion, I believe. She mislabeled them, called them Muslim, which I will give her a little bit credit, maybe she just really didn't know. But she said that she didn't want them on her plane due to the fact that she equated their religious dress and their cultural dress would be in some form of terrorist. And people drug her then because why would you, even if you thought that, why would you post that? And then to further that, you don't even know what you're saying. You mislabeled a whole group of people and then you got defensive when people were dragging you. And I don't like that people cannot take accountability for when they are wrong, when they really know that they're wrong. It's one thing to stand in your shit, but when you're wrong, bitch, you're wrong. I think a couple years ago, she was dragged for being homophobic. Mm. And just a month back, I dragged her ass because she didn't like um, how cancel culture is, which I agree, cancel culture is bullshit. She uh, wasn't having it that people was canceling her. Well, people will stop canceling you if you stop doing nut shit. Thank you. Stop doing nut shit. I think this might be the first situation in all of our media and social media, all that stuff, that we might successfully cancel somebody because her career deserves to be canceled. You're a repeat offender. How many times are you going to keep offending people, especially people the same color as you, the same gender as you, even people that are not even you? How, how many times are you going to keep disrespecting people and then scratching it off and trying to camouflage it as comedy and comedic expression when it's really not? There are certain things that are just not funny. I didn't find that funny. I didn't even crack a smile. 
No. I didn't even hit a smirk when no. I watched that. I didn't even, <laughs> I, there was no chuckling. There was nothing like, I'd rather sweep the beach with a makeup brush yep. than watch Jess Hilarious. You're not funny. Yep, and I re would rather sweep the desert with a toothbrush than watch <laughs> Jess uh, Hilarious, um, Jess Hideous, um, because no. You had ample amount of warnings Period. to not do that, and you still post it. Bitch, fuck you. Literally. At this point, it's a big F you because absolutely not. Now, point number five is I did want to say I am very happy because I don't want to be that negative that there were many black women that stood in solidarity with Meg Thee Stallion, including Beyonce, Rihanna, and Lizzo. Yep. Rihanna came through with the petty Betty and said, you know what, Drea? You wanted to drag our sis Meg. Yes. We're canceling she your Savage said. Fenty mm -hmm. sponsorship. And we're going to add Meg. And we're going to, well, no, <laughs> Meg was actually already on, but oh. we're going to gift Meg some more stuff, as well as Beyonce sent her some things and Lizzo sent her some things. Mm -hmm. And I... Clap it up, ladies. Good job. Good job. This is how you show solidarity for people that look just like you. This is what I mean by women unity. This is what I mean by black women coming together. This is a prime example. This shows other black girls that it doesn't always have to be catty, petty. We don't always have to be mean, have attitudes stuck up to one another. We can actually come together when one of us is very, very low and bring that girl up in her lowest moment. You don't have to kick somebody when they're down. And Jess. Yup. Hideous. <laughs> <laughs> but Meg the Stallion, her tweet was right on the money. People do not protect black women. At all. Black women are unprotected. I 100% agree with Meg because like, I just don't understand why black women is always the butt of a fucking joke. Why is laughing at somebody's pet being funny? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, it, it hurts me because nothing. I've been in so many situations that most people wouldn't know about or wouldn't know that I've been through. And I see like things and some of the things I see in the media and it's like I could never make a joke out of that. I could never even laugh at the fact that someone is going through it. Especially something to this matter too where the outcome could have been something way worse than what it was. There's nothing funny about it and I feel like it was a good example to show that you can try to go against the grain. But the grain will always go against you. You know what Mama Monique? When Monique said, see, when you do clownery, clownery. the clown always comes back to bite. Period. Man, I heard her. I yep. felt that one. She because just, the clownery is going to come back to bite her. And that means she's going to be canceled. Jess, let me just, we're going to drag you real quick. Because you do, your Tweety Bird looking ass deserves to be dragged. Jess hideous. She can get the fuck. Like, she can get her pleakly looking ass <laughs> on. Like... <laughs> I think all the dragons that she's getting are very justified. When you don't have a level of discernment within your career or just within being a human being, you're never going to understand your wrongs, which is why she's sitting in the comments going back and forth with people as if she didn't do anything wrong. And she's not going to learn her lessons, which is why she deserves to be canceled. You're not going to bring your moose looking ass in here and start fucking neighing like the damn eighth reindeer that Santa Claus drives and see chop chop just doing too much. You're doing too much. I'm over it. And the only reason why I drag her is because this could have been her. This could have been somebody that she knows. Like Meg said, why are there people talking about a situation that has nothing to do with them in a bad no. way? But if it was your sister or your mother, your cousin, your girlfriend, you would want everyone to rally behind you mm -hmm. and feel sorry for you. And Meg didn't ask for anybody to feel sorry for her, but it's just the principle of being a good human being. There was nothing funny about her little skit. I didn't think it was funny. Just hilarious. I feel like, can we cancel her, please? Can this be the first person we real deal cancel? Because they say cancel culture doesn't work, but can we actually do it right. or was it that she was canceled before and she just came out of nowhere because i don't see nobody checking for her all this time nobody she has not her. been on nobody's radar all this time she, she deserves to she be literally do controversial shit so she can be relevant that's the only time she can trend is when she does controversial things like this and i think she knew what she was doing she decided to make a decision to move forward and for that you're done yeah and that's one period she can try to delete this um that video she could try to make a statement or apology you could save that shit. Yep, save it save it and you could absolutely have a stadium full of seats times 10. thank you very much <laughs> i already had to drag motherfuckers on facebook because people want to poke fun at meg talking about oh she a man um oh she transgender oh this that, and third and people want to poke fun at her name because um if you didn't know stallion is a male horse First of all, y'all need to go back to school and look up the word slang. Because slang <laughs> does not mean literal. Period. It means figuratively. For someone to be putting down someone, not just because I, it's not because I just like Meg Thee Stallion. It's simply the principle of the situation. And for that, just hilarious, 
What is the sentencing we're gonna give her? The electric chair. Oh. Times ten. We're gonna give her electric chair times ten. Yep. And if she survives the electric chair, um, I would actually like to give her another set of electric chair. <laughs> <laughs> Lethal social ass whooping yep. as well. And um just career cancellation yep. all in all. Don't book her. Ever. Yeah, only thing she can be booked is her uh, goddamn Instagram. And the only way that she could be booked is in the jail that she belongs to be in. Yep, we're, because we're putting her in prison. Yep, we're gonna lock her ass up, throw away the key, put her in solitary confinement. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Darius. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yep. It is U-N-C-L-E-D-E-R-R-E-N-T. Period. Period. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.